Hello, good afternoon. My name is Rosina, this is the Jazz Hot Baby and welcome to my channel. Today I am here with my July book haul. Now I fortunately didn't get any ebooks this month so I do not need to worry about trying to share those. That is going to be a problem for another month. But I have plenty of books here. I have split them up in two piles. So I have a pile for adult books that I have bought. I have a pile for adult books I have bought. I have a pile of books I have received from publishers or for tours. I have a pile of manga books I bought, I have a pile of books I got from book boxes and finally a pile that I was gifted or I just paid postage to get these books. So we'll start off with the books I paid just postage for or I got as gifts. So the first one we have is Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chupeco. Now this was an arc that I believe came with Fairy Loot in December last year maybe. It focuses on a young prince whose family's world, kingdom, whatever it was, was taken over by a Snow Queen and he has now wound up living in Arizona. So when he and his best friend Talia start to learn some more magic, they decide they need to fight back and get back their kingdom. Now I originally wasn't too interested in this book because I thought it sounded a lot more contemporary than I have since found out it is. So I'm still not sure what I'm going to think about this but I am definitely curious and I am looking forward to checking it out and seeing how good it is. We then have an adult fantasy novel and that is A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kosloff which focuses on a princess who when she comes into her magic has to then start learning guerrilla warfare to try and win back her kingdom. It's a lot thicker than I usually like to pick up in books and it is book one out of four which I believe all four books were released fairly close together so it's a brand new series that I can completely delve into but I am definitely curious about the magic system and the world building in this world and yeah I hopefully I will get the chance to get to this soon. We then have The Kingdom of the Back by Marie Lu. Now Marie Lu is an author I, whose work I generally seem to love whatever I read by her and this book focuses on a this book focuses on the sister of Mozart who winds up meeting a mysterious man who says he can use magic to help her we basically become a better composer maybe be better than her brother even so she can get the chance to play music it's not something I would usually be that interested in but it sounded very you know fascinating so I put up my wishes and I was very lucky to have it bought for me off a wish list thread by Jen from Twitter and yeah Thanks again for this, Jen. I am certainly looking forward to seeing seeing how Mozart is portrayed and the ma and the magic and the music and everything. The final book is A Gathering of Shadows by V. Schwab. I'm not going to go into the detail about this book because this is the second book in a Dark Shade of Magic series. It's an incredibly popular series, but one I'm I'm thinking kind of eh, like I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it so far. So I am intrigued to see how you know the world grows within this novel and how things go with Kel and Lila. So yeah, uh, this was gifted to me by Lewis from Twitter on another wishlist gifting thread. So thank you again, Miss Lewis. And that is it for the gifted books. Uh, I will now do the book box books. So I will start with the books from the June 2020 Fairy Loot, which I have an unboxing of, which I will put a link to up there if you are interested in watching it. So we will start with the bonus book, which was The Gilded Ones by Nanina Fauna. Now this book isn't officially out until I think March next year, spring next year at the very least anyway. And this was an exclusive finished paperback edition we got with it. It focuses on a main character whose blood turns out to be gold and in her world the colour of your blood basically denotes you know your power your where you belong to sight and things like that and her blood says that she is evil so she is sent to war and she and a group of other girls with gold blood decide to band together to fight back and prove that they are worth everything basically it is definitely one of my most anticipated reads for next year it was one i was excited to read this year until it was pushed back so i am very luckily going to be reading this in august so you know look out for a review and a lot of planning about this book we then have the actual book which was the forest of songs by laurie emily which focuses on a girl who was trained to be the rock spy only one day when her best friend is killed she finds out that she is actually a soul guide she has to train to use his powers while she tries to figure out ways to get revenge so she can basically prove everything is still worth it or something I'm being really bad at describing this but this was definitely a book I had as highly anticipated for this year so I am hoping I will get the chance to read this soon. The final book on this part I got in the July book hooked box and that is A Songs of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. 
which is an African inspired fantasy about a princess who after her mum dies decides she wants to bring her back to life. Only the only way she can bring her back is if she uses the heart of a king. So the way she decides to do this is to hold a competition to find a man who gets the chance to marry her. If he wins, then he will become king. She can obviously then kill him and take his heart. Now, this is a dual perspective as far as I know with a male pop as well. So you'll get to see them falling in love, you'll get to see the adventure and you'll get to try and basically, I'm assume, suddenly not want her to do it or something. So it's going to be very interesting. I have heard nothing about good things about this book and I'm glad I got it in book hooked box because otherwise I would have had to buy the fairy edition, which is extra money that I didn't need to be spending right now. The next part I have is books from publishers or that I got for book tours and we will start with the one I got today before actually filming this video and that is Far From Perfect by Holly Smile Small however you say it. This is a YA contemporary which focuses on a girl who's bas who basically grew up with famous parents and that's about all I can sort of really remember about it. All I know is that I've checked out the first book and the second book and the second book is the one that seems most interesting and that it has this absolutely gorgeous cover on it. I'm actually really looking forward to photographing this because it's really pretty. So I will have a link to my Instagram below so you will be able to see my post when it comes up later on in August on my day. And I will be reading this within the next week or so so I can review it in time for that. Yeah, why contemporary isn't my sort of thing usually but I am slowly picking more up I guess. I found more books that sort of appeal to me. So I'm hoping this is one that I will really be able to get excited about because if I do, then hopefully you will see the first book in my August haul. We now have one of my favourite books of the year and that is The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis. This book is an adult sci-fi which focuses on three main characters. You have Leto, a soldier. You have The First Sister who is... It's hard to describe so I just generally describe as half nun, half prostitute sort of figure. Um, and you also have Hera who is non-binary. It's a fascinating adventure. You have a lot of good world building and I have a review for this which I will link to up there. I absolutely adore this. This is the one book in this haul that I have actually read so far and I am so glad that I did because I absolutely adored it. So thank you again to Kate Keehan and Hoddest and Stoughton for sending me this. I, I know it was only a giveaway but you know I really look forward to book two now. The final book I got from Readers First and that is The Scarlet Code by C.S. Quinn. This is a historical spy book following a mixed race spy called Attica and that's about all that I'm going to tell you about this. It's very much a historical adventure sort of, it felt something along the lines of James Bond, Indiana Jones, that sort of thing but in book form. But I haven't been in the mood to read the first book which I need to read before reading this so I don't really have any opinions on it. It does look like it could be very interesting and I am grateful to have actually gotten this book. We're finally on to the books I have bought myself and this time we will start with the manga books. So for that the first one I have is My Hero Academia Smash Volume 1. My Hero Academia is a series that follows Izuku Midoriya also known as Deku as he basically tries to become the best superhero follow in the footsteps of his hero All Might and he goes to a hero school and there's a lot of fun and games. Now Smash is a separate side series which basically is in four panel comics and there is a lot of shenanigans in it. These aren't always considered canon. I have seen some people say they are, some people say they aren't. I, in my RP I kind of use some things I've seen from it like Katsuki liking cooking for his friends and things like that but other people just completely pretend they're not there. But I've seen some of the little comics online and I've really enjoyed them so I am looking forward to actually sitting down and reading the entire volume. I believe there are three volumes of this out so far so I do need to actually get them all and yeah I'm excited to read them. We then have Snow White with a Red Hair Volume 1 which is a shoujo manga sort of fantasy romance series which follows a girl called Shira Yuki. Now Shira Yuki's red hair is so beautiful and so rare that to escape a prince who wants to marry her she winds up chopping most of it off and running away. Only when she runs away she winds up running into a boy and his friends and that boy and his friends basically help her escape to another kingdom where she is eventually going to train to be a healer. Now there's about two seasons of an anime of this which I have watched and loved. My ship unfortunately isn't canon but I'm used to that. But if you do know the series I ship Shiroyuki and Obi. Yeah it's good it's good. But yeah I really love the anime and I'm super glad to finally be getting the chance to read it in manga form because 
yeah, I want more of it and I want to read further than where the anime went. I want to see what happens. And the last book we have is actually a light novel and that is Toradora Volume 1. Uh, I've been watching the anime of this, it's got one season and it's currently on Amazon Prime. This is a sort of romantic comedy series which follows two characters. You have Ryuji, whose face is so scary that everyone thinks he wants to fight everyone and that he's a delinquent. And you have Tiger, who is an adorably small girl who within school gets known as the Palm Top Tiger. And it's actually violent and someone you want to mess with. Only when they accidentally swap something one day, they wind up getting involved in trying to help each other get with their crushes and obviously things aren't that simple. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's so very funny and so very cute and I'm so excited to read the light novel that the original anime and manga was based off. So we're nearly through. We are now on to the books that I have bought for myself and we will start with the adult books. So the first book we have is Heroine's Journey by Sarah Cohn. This is the third book in a superhero series which follows Asian American superheroes. This one follows Beatrice, who is the younger sister of the main character from the first book. Now, she's an adult now, she has her own powers, but things aren't going as well as she'd like, as she's not getting the chance to be a superhero. Now, I won't go into any more details on that, because I don't want to spoil anything. If you enjoy superheroes, if you enjoy, you know, fantasy, romantic comedy, that sort of thing, then you will love this series. I am absolutely adoring it. I've been meaning to get my hands on this volume for a while now, so I'm glad I finally did this month. I don't know when I'm actually going to get the chance to read it, but I hope I manage to find time soon. The next two books I have are by the same author, and for that we have Every Step She Takes and 13 by Kelly Armstrong. Now, 13 is a book I have read before, and I actually only bought this recently because I was planning on rereading it sometime soon, but I don't know if I'm going to get the chance to now. I read the original volume from the library, but can't get it from the library right now due to restrictions in place so yeah i'm not going to go into too much detail i will say the women of the other world also has teen spin-offs it is this massive urban fantasy paranormal romance however you want to take it with a bunch of different main characters and interesting takes on paranormal species and a lot of mysteries and a lot of fun and it's definitely one of my sort of favorite series ever i have mentioned it in another video before and I am actually thinking about doing a book club read along sort of thing maybe for it if people would be interested that is so if you are curious about the books and you want to know more information then please leave a comment below and we can see what we can do the other book we have is Every Step She Takes which is a thriller book which focuses on a main character who has run away and is living in Rome she has been living in peace for a while and she thinks no one can track her down until one day she's gone out shopping she comes home and she finds her front door open and inside is a box with a letter addressed to her previous name. Now, obviously, someone knows who she is. There's going to be a lot of mysteries, a lot of fun. Kelly Armstrong can always be trusted to write an amazing thriller. So I am super excited to get to this one. But again, I don't know when I'm going to have the chance to actually get to it. The final three books are the YA I have bought. And we will start with Harry Late by Kat Ellis. This is a sort of horror novel which focuses on a girl whose father made a cult horror film. Now she thinks she knows everything about the lake where the film was based only it turns out there's some secrets that she wasn't aware of so when she winds up having to save her she winds up involved in something she never thought she would it's supposed to be so twisted and so interesting and yeah i'm hoping it's going to be everything i want in a horror novel look it's even what yellow spread ages so you know i hadn't heard about this until i saw someone talking about it in a group chat on twitter so i'm glad i did because as soon as i saw it i knew i had to pick it up we now have another yellow book that is Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Y. This is a YA queer rom-com which focuses on a boy who decides that I am going to be the one to win this popular guy. This popular guy at the beginning of every week agrees to date the first person but asks him out for that entire week. But obviously things never work out past that so the main character thinks this time, this time it will. Maybe he just needed the right boy or something. So, you know, it sounded cute, it sounded like a hilarious rom-com, and yeah, I'm hoping I will love it. The final book is one I pre-ordered, and that is Unravel the Dust by Elizabeth Lim, which is the sequel to Spin the Dawn. Spin the Dawn was described as Project Runaway meets Mulan, where the main character has to enter a sewing competition for the chance to save her family's sort of business, and she winds up an adventure to try and make these magical dresses, and... It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. So as soon as pre-orders open for the second one, I put my name down for it and got pre-order goodies too. So yeah, it should be really, really good. And that's all I have for now. 
if you've read any of these books or you're interested in maybe having a buddy read with them or something then please let me know in the comments if not i hope you enjoyed watching and maybe you found some new books that would interest you too so yep please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you next time